Hi, Dr. David Weintraub, breast cancer surgeon, and I want to talk a moment about the journey of breast cancer treatment. So journey of treatment can involve many steps, but it's very important at the onset for patients to have conversation with their specialists like myself about what is their risk. Risk really should determine treatment and therefore determine the journey. When we think about risk, we think about two very important categories of risk that have to be assessed and defined, local risk and systemic risk. So the treatment for breast cancer needs to make sure that if we remove a cancer from someone's breast, that it doesn't come back either in the breast, which would be locally, and that it doesn't spread, which would be systemic. The journey and the treatment for those is why we have a comprehensive approach that includes not only surgery, but other adjuvant treatments like radiation and like medication, which includes both chemotherapy and hormonal or endocrine therapy. One very critical part of determining the appropriate journey for a patient who is about to begin treatment for breast cancer would be to determine the, their stage. When patients come in for consultation in our clinic, in addition to explaining their cancer and explaining treatments for their cancer, it's very important that we use both um, the findings from a physical exam, but also all of our imaging studies and other technology to stage their cancer. Why is this important? So patients will present either early or later stage. When patients present with early stage breast cancer, we typically will then go through a series of surgery as the first step, and this will then be followed by what other treatments in the medical or radiation arenas are thought to help reduce their risk of recurrence. When someone presents at the initial time of their diagnosis with a more advanced stage of cancer, it doesn't mean that we can't treat them, but we have to treat them differently. In this particular case, very often we assess the benefit of something called neoadjuvant therapy. So while we might wait for some patients to look at what medical treatment or chemotherapy might be beneficial after surgery, in women who present with a more advanced stage or a higher stage of cancer, we'll use these techniques to actually treat them before surgery. We can witness the response to treatment and very often we can actually downstage their cancer so that when surgery occurs, the results of that operation can be better, the severity or invasiveness of the surgery can be decreased, and we use the ability to assess stage and take therapy and arrange it in an order that is specifically tailored to that particular patient's stage to make sure that they have the best outcome possible.